Where's your anxiety level at the moment? It seems that there are many things happening in the world around us today that are causing us to be anxious and even afraid. What makes us afraid? Usually we're afraid because we fear that something is going to hurt. We can be uncertain about the future and wonder what pain it will bring. We can also be afraid because we've done something wrong and we fear the consequences, the pain of those wrong choices and actions. So why are you afraid? There was a time when Jesus' disciples were afraid. They were in a boat with Jesus and a, a bad storm came up. They were afraid that they were going to die. This is what Jesus said to them, Why are you afraid, you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the wind and the sea, and there was a complete calm. The disciples were afraid of their future. They wondered what that storm meant for them. And so it caused them to also doubt. Jesus said to them, you of little faith. The disciples weren't trusting that Jesus would protect them, that he would see them safely through the storm. So they were afraid. What storms are in your life that are causing you to doubt God and causing you to be afraid of what the future has in store for you? Is it the pandemic? Is it the injustice in the world? Is it the riots and looting? Is it your conscience causing you to wonder what's in store for you because of the bad things that you've done? Don't be afraid. Jesus is in control and he loves you. In this section of the Bible, we see that Jesus has all things under his power. Even the wind and waves obey him. There is nothing outside of his control. So when the storms of life rage against us, we can trust that Jesus has everything under control, that he will get us safely through the storm. And when our conscience makes us afraid of our future, when we're concerned about how God will treat us because of the things that we have done. Don't be afraid. Jesus has taken care of that too. He took your guilt and suffered the storm of God's wrath over your sins so that you are forgiven. And in Jesus, there remains a complete calm for sinners. You don't have to be afraid of God because of Jesus. You don't have to be anxious about your guilt. Your sins are forgiven. Jesus has paid for them all. So he wants your heart to be calm at peace. So what's making you afraid? Jesus wants to take away all of your fears and anxiety. Trust in him. Trust that he will work all things for your good and that he has paid for all of your sins. Peace be with you. Amen. Thank you for taking time to have a devotion with us today. We'd like to encourage you to share this message with someone who needs comfort. You can find more devotions about God's peace and love at peacedevotions.com. If you'd like to help us make more devotions, you can contribute with your prayers and donations. Donations can be made at els.org slash donate.